Welcome back, Calibrate Tools family. Now, as you know, this past year has brought quite a few challenges, especially when it comes to cleaning and disinfecting personal and public spaces. But there is a tool out there that helps you to do that better than before. It's called an electrostatic sprayer. Now, hit that like and subscribe button, and we're gonna find out how it works right after this. <music> Now, most of the time when we're cleaning something, we're either dusting it off with a duster or a cloth, a dry cloth, and in that case, we're just spreading the particles around. We're knocking it off of the surface, but it's flying all over the room, so that's not really cleaning it, right? And if you're using a wet cloth, a lot of times those cloths are very dirty, right? So we rinse it out and we wipe it off, and in those cases, when we're using a damp cloth, we're just spreading it around, right? It looks clean, but it's really not clean. Now, when it comes to cleaning surfaces, the electrostatic sprayer is superior to those traditional methods we just talked about. But let's talk about the parts of the electrostatic sprayer before we talk about how it works. Here you have your on-off switch. On the top right here, you see a battery pack, okay? You can take it off. It's an 18 volt, two amp hour lithium battery, and you can put it on again there. And on the bottom here, you have a tank. It's a one liter or 32 ounce tank. Now electrostatic sprayers are meant to be used with special disinfecting solutions that you put in the tank, okay? And you can do your research on what those are, but let me show you how you take the tank off of this particular model. Uh, they have these latches on the side here. You just lift it up and you remove the sprayer from the tank. Then you remove the cap and pour your disinfecting solution inside here. And if you notice on the cap, you have this tube here, this uh, transparent tube. This is where the solution comes up into the machine, into the sprayer, when it's in operation. It draws the solution from the tank up through this tube into the sprayer and out of the nozzle. So after you put your solution in, you simply take your sprayer Place it back on top of the tank. Put the latches on and lock them in. Now here's the trigger which you use to engage the sprayer and draw the solution up into the sprayer out of the nozzle. Now this is the nozzle. This is a very interesting part of the machine because it has multiple settings in which to emit your spray stream. Okay, and those settings are designated in terms of microns. Let's talk about microns. Simply put, microns refer to the size of very, very small particles. In the metric system, a micron is one millionth of a meter. That's very, very small. So you know we're talking about invisible particles like airborne particles, aerosols, droplets of liquid, very, very small particles of solid matter as well. Now on the sprayer here, this portion is called the mode selector. This is how you select the different micron size settings from which to emit your spray stream. Now, the smaller the particle, the smaller the micron number. So this one right here is 50 microns, which is smaller than 75 microns, which is smaller than 100 microns. So 50 microns is the smallest particle size that this sprayer can emit. You have 75 microns on this setting, which emits a particle size that's one and a half times bigger than the 50 microns. And then you have 100 microns on this setting, which emits a particle size that's twice as big as the 50 microns. Now here's a better depiction of what we just talked about. Now the spray droplets emitted from your sprayer are spherical in nature. If you look at the picture here, you see two spheres, one smaller and one larger. Let's just say the smaller one is uh, 10 microns and the larger one is 50 microns, right? Because we just learned that the smaller the number in microns, the smaller the particle. Now, depending on the surface that you're disinfecting, micron size is very important. The larger the micron size, the wetter the surface will be for the simple fact that this droplet, for the sake of illustration, has a higher volume of disinfecting solution than the smaller micron size. So if you're disinfecting interior surfaces like desks, 
and furniture and tables, you may want to set your sprayer on a finer micron size, a smaller micron size that will produce more of a mist to cover the surface. Because a larger micron size may moisten or wet the surface more than you want it to. And you don't want the solution to pool up on your surface. It can damage your surface and so forth. Now that we understand more about microns and particle size and droplet size, let's talk about how this machine operates. Now, everything that we can see and touch and even smell has an electric charge. Now, there's a part in the sprayer that we can't see. It's an electrode that positively charges the solution when you pull the trigger. Once that happens, that solution has a positive electric charge that's greater than any surface that it contacts. So what happens? The law of magnetism, the law of polarity kicks in, and that positive particle coming out of the sprayer is instantly attracted to the surface and whatever particle is on the surface like a magnet. So it's drawn to that surface and anything on it, and those particles coming out of the sprayer attach themselves to anything on the surface and wraps themselves around the particles on the surface. It's basic science. All the positively charged droplets coming out of the sprayer will instantly be attracted to any negative surfaces that's around. And the disinfecting agent in those particles will neutralize and sanitize your surfaces. Think of static electricity. You walk across the carpet with your socks on, and then you get shocked by a doorknob, or the hair stands up on your arm, or your head, or the back of your neck, when you bring an object that was rubbed on something because the positive charge is being attracted to the negative charge. Electrostatic spraying is so effective that not only the visible portions of the surface are neutralized, but the underside, the side, the portions that are not visible are still neutralized because the particles coming out of the sprayer will also be attracted to parts of the surface that you can't see. And if you spray a surface that's already been sprayed, that surface will repel the second dose of spray like two positive sides of a magnet repelling each other. And the spray that's been repelled will be attracted to a surface that's not been sprayed. That makes this very, very efficient. Okay, so let's do some spraying. I have some uh, fake solution here. It's just water to put in our tank because I don't have any uh, real solution. So we're going to take our tank off. And you always want to separate your tank from your machine by a good distance when you're doing this. You also want to take the battery off of your machine as well while you're putting solution in your tank. And if you have any spillage after you pour your liquid, you want to make sure that you wipe that spillage off of your tank, off of your battery, off of your device, or anything that it may have gotten on before you install the tank and the battery back onto the device. Then after that, you wanna turn your sprayer on, pull the trigger, you have a decent consistent spray pattern. You have a good mist coming out. But if the sprayer seems to be having trouble spraying, you wanna turn the mode selector to the largest nozzle, which is 100 microns. Then pull the trigger. I don't know if you guys noticed that mist, but the droplets were pretty heavy on that one. That's the largest micron setting, 100 microns. At 75, and that's 50. Okay, so let's talk maintenance here. These nozzles here, they have O-rings, and these O-rings can wear out over time. Sometimes you need to replace them, so this is how you do that. You can just unscrew the nozzle, and you can see the O-ring right there. Most devices with O-rings, they have a a lifespan on them. So sometimes you got to check them, see if they're not cracked or anything like that because they can cause leaking. So that's your O-ring in there. So see that there? You see that black ring? That's the O-ring. Uh, sometimes O-rings get cracked. They, you know, they get loose. They get worn out over time and you got to replace them, right? So make sure you check your O-rings. And this is how you uninstall or install your nozzle as well. Put it in and turn it clockwise. 
And you don't want to over tighten these nozzles when you screw them back in. And you already know how to select your mode. You also want to clean your sprayer after each use by removing the nozzles, the O-rings, and soaking them, and then reinstalling them. Then you take some clean water, put it in the tank, and run the machine for about one to two minutes. An electrostatic sprayer to disinfect your surfaces, sanitize your environment. Hey, if you learned something about this device today, if you found value, hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.